How's it going guys? This tank advice episode was a requested video and it was a very very valid request at that. Every time I or probably any other tank makes a build we frivolously say and then for consumables of course the chain of scales. But who? What? Where? When? Why? I hadn't thought about the fact that this is an old crusty item. Not too old but old enough that a lot of people playing probably won't have seen it before. So we're going to talk about this consumable a little bit today and let you guys know why we use it and mainly where and how to get it. The chain of scales is a staple consumable to use for tanks simply because of its 3% awareness stat just for using it as well as one of these extra bonuses here. Awareness is one of our best stats to build so it's a no brainer to have this on at all times. It's the tank equivalent of the forger's box that DPS and healers use for the 3% power that newer players are more likely to know about. These stat increasing belt items don't stack unless recently they've messed up or something and of course you can use them again and again they don't actually consume like other potions or elixirs. There was a couple of older ones in the game like the Timora's coin and the pocket pet but they are outdated now compared to these other two so you're always going to want to run one of these depending on your role. Remember that if you go down these will wear off and you'll have to wait out the 10 minute timer to reapply the bonus. So now to show you how to get the chain of scales which actually isn't a super quick and easy task like a lot of things in MMOs. It's definitely easier now than it was at least, but that could depend on a few things. For this, you're going to have to go to Chult or Omu specifically, but you'll have to be doing the Chult campaign from back in Mod 12 and 13. So if you haven't started that, or maybe you just did the campaign buyout, you'll have to head back there to start this quest. Once you've unlocked access to this quest here, the Fane of the Night Serpent, you can go ahead and run this instance quest and fight your way to the end. Once you defeat the boss in here, you should be awarded with the base version of the Chain of Scales. And now the real work begins to actually upgrade this to the mythic tier to give you the full bonus it can provide. You will have to find a series of reagents needed to upgrade the item to each level. The first of which is from the mini boss in Fane of the Night Serpent instance. So you should already be able to upgrade the first level of the chain of scales. Please forgive me if I forget the exact order of the rest of these items since I have them all built on my tank characters and it was years ago now that I did it. But I'll at least be able to point out the rest of them to get you on the right track. Another of the scales comes from the hunt right here. Another Yuanti enemy like like the previous two you had to fight. You should be familiar with hunts but you need to build or buy from another player the hunt lore to place down here to fight the boss. I do believe that it doesn't drop every time so you might need a few of these hunt laws to get the item. If you just want to farm the hunts you have to kill the marked enemies in the area around this building. They are called mind whisperers I'm pretty sure and then you combine the item they drop with the razor from the big rexes in Omu. Another hunt you have to complete to get another scale which is the second last one actually is from the tyrant hunt boss at the end of the hunt system here. This means you do have to complete all the hunts in the area to get this item which is a 100% drop rate as far as I remember from this final boss. You do have to be the one that puts the hunt lord down though I think. As I said it isn't exactly quick and easy to get this done but once you get the chain of scales all maxed you'll be happy you've got it for your tanks. Remember that often you can ask other people in your alliance or guild if they have any of these items sitting around to help you. I've very often seen the final hunt laws just sitting in people's guild banks because it's an out of date area that most people don't go to or worry about anymore. So I hope you guys have good fortune requesting these items from hopefully helpful bystanders. Another two of these scales much much easier to get are from the three pieces of chalk content that were released in mod 12 and 13. Notice I said three because there is also another item you need, the Soulmonger Ampule that drops from the Cradle of the Death Gods, which you need to use for the final rank to get the chain to Mythic. So all you have to do is run Tomb of the Nine Gods and open the middle chest at the end I think has it and you've got another and then run Merchant Prince Folly Skirmish for another. And then finally, you run your Cradle of the Death Gods trial for your Soulmonger Ampule for the final upgrade to Mythic. These three should be easy enough to complete with your random queues or pickup groups since they aren't difficult content or anything. And I don't remember exactly if these drop the item every single time, but just persevere for a few attempts if they don't drop straight away. I hope I haven't dumbly forgotten about any of these reagents, and if I have, I apologize profusely for that. My brain just isn't big enough to store all these Neverwinter memories. This item is really really useful for tanks and definitely is something you should look at getting if you want to make your tank feel really complete. Thank you for the suggestion and I hope it helps and you won't be annoyed every time a build video recommends the chain of scales anymore. Stay safe guys and thanks for watching.